Hello friends and welcome to EduPediaWorld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, let's start today with the continuing session of the character sex of element, where in the past sessions we have already discussed with the variation of these properties like valence electron, valency, size of atoms, metallic character and chemical reactivity. So in this discussion today we shall learn about the nature of oxides where we are going to understand about the oxides and the variation of oxides in the periodic table with respect to groups and periods. So friends let's start with the session with the nature of oxides. Friends before starting with the nature of oxides let's understand what are oxides. Well, oxides are the chemical compound that contain at least one atom of oxygen and one other element in its chemical formula. So there are two elements. First is one is oxygen and another is element. For example, carbon dioxide and water. You can see here there are two elements. One is oxygen and another is metal or non-metal or that is and one other element right so friends oxides can be both metallic or non-metallic that is they can be metal oxides or non-metal oxides which can be further divided or described into acidic oxide basic oxide neutral oxide and emphatic oxides. Now friends, to make the discussion more effective, let's understand all these types of oxides one by one and understand the whole discussion in details. So first, let's understand what are the acidic oxides. Well, we have acidic oxides and acidic anhydride in acidic oxides. First, let's understand the acidic oxides. Well, acidic oxides are nothing but the oxides which are mostly common in non-metals, which neutralizes base to form salt and water. That is, these oxides, which are non-metal oxides, that neutralizes base to form salt and water. For example, you can see here, we have carbon dioxide, which is added to the sodium hydroxide which gives the salt and water. Secondly, we have acidic anhydride which are the acidic oxide which dissolves in water to form acidic solution. That is, they are the acidic oxides which dissolve in water to form acidic solution. So these are two types of acidic oxides. First is which neutralizes base to form salt and water. And second is the acidic oxide which dissolves in water to form an acidic solution. You can see here we have the formation of carbonic acid with carbon dioxide and water adding each other giving a carbonic acid. Now friends let's understand the basic oxide. These are oxide basically found in metals and which neutralizes the acid to form salt and water. You can see here the basic oxide for example here the magnesium oxide which neutralizes sulfuric acid to form magnesium sulfate that is a salt and water. Friends, the basic oxide can either be soluble or insoluble. When the soluble oxide dissolves in water, they form alkaline solutions. What are the neutral oxides? Neutral oxides, friends, are most common in non-metals and they are basically neither neutral they can neutralize acid nor base so they are just neutral oxides for example carbon monoxide nitrogen oxide and water 
so what about the amphoteric oxides friends these are basically found in metals that is these are basically found in transition metals right so these are the oxides of metals that neutralizes both acid and base to form salt and water for example i have given here the zinc oxides adding with the sulfuric acid to form a salt and water so now friends let's understand how the formation of oxides happens to be in metals for that let me take an a marker so friends in metals basically what happens is metal have generally ionic and basic oxides basically they are basic in nature so if these basic oxides dissolves in water that is when basic oxides dissolve in water what happens they form a alkal alkali oxides for example let's talk about the oxides of sodium potassium and calcium will have n2o k2o and calcium oxide which are highly basic in nature well these oxide when dissolves in water they form alkalis they form alkalis the oxide react with acids to form salt oxides of metals like zinc aluminum they are basically moderate basic so they react with acid as well as alkalis to form salt these of these kinds of oxides we call them amphoteric oxides so we shall conclude that metal oxides are basically basic in nature and more of form basic oxides now let's talk about the formation of oxides in non metals in non metals we know that they form a covalent and acidic nature so if this acidic oxide dissolve in water what happen they form basically oxy acids for example chlorine phosphorus and sulfur gives the oxy acids cl2o2 p2o5 and sulfur trioxide which are highly acidic in nature yes so when dissolve in water they form acids so these oxides react with alkalis to form salts for example for h3 p4 and sulfuric acids when dissolve in water they form salts so these are basically amphoteric in nature and some non metals like carbon hydrogen and nitrogen which form oxides like co water and no that is nitrogen oxides we call them neutral oxides so what we conclude here is the non metals basically form acidic oxides so throughout in this discussion what we conclude is the oxides are the compound that at least have one oxygen atom with one another element in its chemical formula we have basic acidic amphoteric and neutral oxides formed with metals and non metals oxides can be formed with metals and non metals in metals oxides are ionic and basic in nature that is metal form basic oxides in contrast 
in non metals we form oxide which are covalent and acidic in nature so by this let's start with the discussion of the periodic table let's see the arrangement of metals and non metals in periodic table where we can see here that the extreme right that is when we move from left to right we go from metals to non metals so at the extreme left we have the metals and extreme right we have the non metals this is the basic arrangement of metals and non metals in periodic table and the arrangement with respect to metals and non metals with the properties of oxides we have basic oxide at the extreme left in the middle most we have the amphoteric oxides and in the extreme right we have the acidic oxides so by this we can conclude like we have the basic we that is we move from basic to acidic when we move from left to right and when we move from top to bottom we move from acidic to basic so now let's understand one by one the variation of oxides with respect to periods and groups first let's understand by the periods well in, by the periods when we move from left to right in a period the basic nature of oxide decreases and the acidic nature of oxides increases for example in the third period of periodic table as i have shown here the sodium oxide is highly basic in nature and magnesium oxide is comparatively less basic so the aluminum and silicon oxide are amphoteric in nature as amphoteric natures amphoteric oxides are those substances which can have either basic or acidic property under certain circum circumstances which are called the amphoteric oxides and the phosphorus oxide which moves to the chlorine are the acidic sulfuric acidic and more and more acidic whereas chlorine is highly acidic in nature from this discussion we conclude that the basic nature of oxide decreases when we move from left to right and the acidic nature of the oxide increases respectively so now let's understand the discussion by the group that is the variation of oxide by the group that is when we move from top to bottom the basic nature of oxide increases and the acidic nature of the oxide decreases how let's understand and rewind or recap the metallic nature with respect to group what happens to the metallic nature well on moving downwards the metallic character of element increases that means in the oxide discussion we have discussed that the metal oxides basically form the basic nature that is they form the basic oxides so when the metallic nature from top to bottom increases that is the basic oxides from top to bottom keeps on increasing so that is the acidic nature when we move from down from top to bottom the acidic nature keeps on decreasing and the basic nature that is a basic oxide the formation of basic oxide from metals keeps on increasing so by this related discussion we shall conclude that the nature of oxide that is the basic nature of oxide increases and acidic nature of oxide decreases so from the summation of all these discussion let's conclude that when we move from left to right the basic nature that is basic oxides decreases in period and acidic oxide increases in periods when we move from left to right and when we move from top to bottom the basic oxide increases and the acidic oxide decreases that is the formation in the metals in the group from top to bottom decreases with the acidic oxides and increases with the basic oxide so friends i hope you have understood the whole discussion the whole related discussion how the what are the oxides 
how they are formed with metals and non-metals and how they vary in groups and periods in the periodic table so let's end up with the session and in the continuing session we shall discuss with the gradation of the physical properties of the elements with respect to groups and periods in the next sessions from now i end up with my session thanks for watching edupedia world videos